Hi, and welcome to my speedrun guide of the Hand in the Sand quest. Skill requirements are at least 17 thieving and 49 crafting. I just need it. At least 22 coins, or a beer and 5 earth runes, a red berry, a white berry, a lantern lens, a bucket of sand, or a regular empty bucket, and two empty vials. For the recommended items, since we don't need to fight anything during this quest, just bring your best weight reducing clothing and between 1 and 2 stamina potions should be enough. For the teleports, since this is a speedrun, I'm going to be bringing a lot. 2 teleports to Brimhaven, I'm going to be using a scroll of redirection, then 4 teleports to Yanil. Once again, I'm going to be using scrolls of redirection because I have 50 construction. Then an additional teleport to Yanil from Entrana, so you can't bring any staffs, for example. One teleport to Entrana. I'm gonna be using a hot air balloon because I've completed the quest in Light and Journey and I've also unlocked the balloon route after that completion. And then finally, one teleport away from Yanil after the quest is completed. First, before starting our speedrun, if you have not brought a bucket of sand, then go to Bird Sand Pit and use your bucket on it to fill it up. Afterwards, let's go south into the inn, where we will need to go after speaking to Bert and starting our quest. Let's talk to the bartender and let's buy a beer by selecting option 4. Since we basically have every single item to complete this quest now, let's go talk to Bert and select option 2 and then 1. After speaking to Bert, we'll need to go to the Dragon Inn where we've just bought that beer. And we'll need to talk to the guard captain, the drunk guy wandering around. He will sew the hand. After speaking to him, we will need to head east to the Magic Guild. We will need to talk to a guy that is inside of the Magic Guild. You can either go inside of the Magic Guild or you could go in front of the eastern side entrance and ring the bell. Do so, and I select option 2 if you've completed the quest Zook Flesh Eaters. If you have not, then you can simply skip this dialogue. After speaking to him, we will need to make our way back to Bird, so I'm gonna be using a Yanil teleport, or you could simply run back quest. Let's talk to Bird. After speaking to Bird, we will need to make our way to Brimhaven. So once again, I'm gonna be using a scroll of redirection. And then simply going east. South of the fish store, with the quest line of the tribal totem quest, there will be a small building. In there, you'll find Sandy. Next to the southern wall, there you'll find Sandy's desk. Let's search it and then right click on Sandy and pickpocket until you get Sandy's sand. Depending on your thieving level, this could take multiple attempts. And then we'll need to make our way back to Yanil. Once we've returned, let's talk to Bert. After speaking to Bert, we'll need to talk to the wizard once again. So, Either go inside of the magic guild and talk to that wizard, or go to the eastern entrance and talk to the wizard that way. I think I'm just going to be entering. That's going to be faster. Select option 2 if you've already completed the quest. Zook Flesh Eaters. Next, talk to him again and select option 4 and then 1. If you've completed Zook Flesh Eaters, then it is going to be 2 for 1. And this will grant you a teleport to Port Serum. Let's right click on Betty and let's buy 5 Earth Runes. Next, talk to Betty and select option 1 about Hand in the Sand. Next, on the bottled water, use your red berry on it, then the white berry, then your lens. Then talk to Betty once again and select option 1 about Hand in the Sand. Next, we need to stand in the doorway on the dark tile and next to the door. Use your roast in it lens on the counter. Then talk to Betty once again about Hand in the Sand, option 1. And she will make a complete true serum using Sandy Sand. Next, teleport back to Brimhaven and let's return to Sandy. Next, we need to talk to Sandy and select any of the three given options. 
It doesn't matter which option you take, you just need to try and talk to him to distract him so he's looking through his window. Once he does, use the truth theorem on his table or Sandy's coffee mug and then activate the magical orb. Next, talk to Sandy and select option 1, 1, 1. If he's not falling for your distraction, then you'll need to try again until he does. Next, make your way back to Yanil to talk to the wizard inside or in front of the wizard's guild, magic guild. Let's talk to Rarv. Select option 2 if you've completed Zogre Flesh Eaters. Next, talk to him again. Select option 2 if needed to start a cutscene. After this cutscene is over, we will need to make our way to Entrana. So I think the fastest way would be to use the hot air balloon at Castle Wars. If you've unlocked that hot air balloon transportation method from the Enlightened Journey quest. If not, then you'll need to probably make your way to Drainer Village. Next, go to the sand pit next to the herblore shop on the western side of Entrana and talk to Amazian, the monk, and he will give you a decapitated head. Once we have this, we will need to make our way back to Rarf, the wizard inside or in front of the magic guild. Let's talk to him and select option 2, if need be. To complete your quest, and congratulations, you've completed the Sand Descent quest you are awarded with. 1 quest point, 1000 thieving XP, 9000 crafting XP, ability to buy pink dice from Betty to make pink capes, as well as access to the Magic Guild's rune store. And your final reward is by talking to Bird, and he will ship 84 buckets of sand straight into your bank. He will do this every single day, if you ask him to do so every single day. After the completion of the Artoin Elite Diary, he can even do this without you having to ask him every single day. And finally, you've also completed a quest requirement for While Gothic Sleeps. This was my speedrun guide how to complete Hand in the Sand quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, bye bye.